Now let's start creating a project studio project first. Choose an empty activity and give it a name. I'm gonna call it Firebase Push Notifications, but you can call it anything you want. Make sure Kotlin is selected and click finish. This will create an Android Studio project for you. Now the next step is to connect this project to Firebase. Go to your Google and search for Firebase Android and click the first link. Add Firebase to your Android project and this will give you a couple of steps that we can follow to be able to create a Firebase project for our Android project. And now let's click create a Firebase project from here and it will ask you to go to Firebase console, click add project and then enter a project name. Now let's create a new project by clicking add project. And give it a name. I'm gonna call it Firebase Push Notifications and click continue. We don't need Google Analytics. Create the project and this will start creating the project for you. Now the project is created. Click continue and it will take you to the Firebase console dashboard. And of course, we have a couple of platforms. Let's choose Android. And it will ask you to register the app. And the first thing required is the Android package name. Go ahead to your code and copy the package name from there and paste it in the first field. And we don't need an app nickname or a signing certificate. Go ahead and click register app and it will start registering your app. And now we have a configuration file. We need to download it. This file is google-services.json file. And we need to include it inside our app folder when we switch to project view. So let's switch to project view. As you can see from here, we can switch to project view. And let's expand. And we have the app, we have the app directory. I'm gonna take it and drag and drop it inside the app directory itself but i need to rename it because i have another files i need to rename it to be google-service.json so let me just rename the file and click ok and and this will include the configuration file inside our app Let's click next and now we need to add a couple of dependencies. So let's copy the Google services dependency in our project level build.gradle file. Let's go ahead and switch to Android and from the Gradle script, let's select the project one and paste in the Google services right here and click sync now let's go back and then we already have google it's included by default in every android studio project and now we need to apply the plugin in our app level build.gradle file let's go back and go to app or module level build.gradle file and at the top we want to apply the google play services google services plugin let's go again right here and include the firebase pom and this is the dependency for all of your firebase library the good thing is that you don't need to specify the version for any feature that you want to add to your firebase project for example you want the database you would include the dependency for the database but you won't need to specify version number because the version number is now at the top level and you don't need to write it every time for every dependency. Let's copy this and go back right here and paste it and synchronize the project. And this will start downloading the necessary files for us. And of course, we synchronize the project, click next okay and let's go to continue to console 
now the project should be ready to go let me just run the application in my emulator to make sure that there is no error and everything is fine and we will start adding some firebase dependencies that we will need like the database and the authentication now it looks good to add a dependency we can go to firebase tools from here and we're gonna go to firebase and it will bring up the firebase assistant tool for us and we have a couple of features let's start adding for example the real time database click save and retrieve data as you can see the firebase project is connected okay let's add the real time database dependency to our project and it will ask you that it will add this library go ahead and click accept changes but we need to modify the dependency a little bit because it is outdated there is a newer version so let me just give myself some room okay so now this is the library that is included let's cut it and put it down here and let's get rid of the version because the version like i said is globally right now it's declared once using the pom now let's go ahead and sign the project again and this should uh, add the dependency for us and of course you can write your database but we need to do something first let's go to our firebase project dashboard and from here select real time database because we need to adjust the firebase the real time database rules let's create a database from here and it will ask you to select the location select any location and start in test mode choose start in test mode because we want to test the database for now and see if the connection succeed or not so this will create the firebase database in a test mode that we can test in our code let's go back to our android studio and let me copy this code this code is a java code but will be converted to will be converted to a kotlin code go to main activity .kt file and let me just paste the code anywhere like here and of course it will convert the java code to kotlin code just for testing purposes if you won't do that in the future we will write the code in kotlin step by step so let's go and follow what we have here we have a firebase instance database instance called database and then we create a reference inside this database called the message a reference is just a child because firebase is a no sql database it is not like an sql where you have tables and this kind of stuff no but you would have childs and nested child and of course it is very fast so we have a reference and then inside this reference we go ahead and call set value and pass the data that we want to write for now the data is just a hello world a string let's go ahead and run the application and we should have we should have a new child is created here and with the value of hello world once that done we should be ready to go as you can see now we have message and hello world now our project is successfully connected to firebase if you like the video go ahead click like subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on the notification so you don't miss any video in this playlist have a nice day